multiple time champion around the world, there is no one else as glorious. I can think of some people. nor should he. Yeah, it's easy to tell that Robert Roode competes at the absolute top level, both mentally and physically, each and every night. Robert Roode has tasted success both as a tag team competitor and in singles action. And you know, Byron, he's proved he's dangerous in any situation, any night of the week. Yeah, like it or not, Michael, Robert Roode has made a career out of making the most out of his opportunities. Roode is a serious threat to any superstar, and Robert Roode is always ready to get his hands dirty. The unhinged mind of Mick Foley strikes again. And from parts unknown, weighing in at 287 pounds, Mankind! Mankind is truly a deranged miscreant who loves to inflict pain on his foes. Yeah, it's so weird. He seems to get joy out of any pain, even if that pain is his own. Despite his madness, Mankind has become a fan favorite. Just something about him that endears him to the WWE Universe. Well, it seems to me like they've all suffered the same mental breakdown that Mankind has. Those two titles adding a little swagger to his and walk. From Des Moines, Iowa. Weighing in at 275 pounds, the United States Champion and the WCW Northern Champion, Carter Goldman. Just think about the grind that comes with being a double champion. As great as the glory is, the hard work that comes with it is no joke. Yeah, he may look good showing off the gold, but he's got to look good defending it as well. Otherwise, it'll be gone. The double champ is here, and the level of oxygen in the room has changed. Holding those two championships, he's making his assault on the WWE history books. All right, I love this guy. And from the United States of America, weighing in at 450 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Lex Luthor! A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down.
Word is that the champ was actually asking for this to be a title match, but the officials backstage wouldn't allow it. That is how competitive he is. This is a match where these WWE superstars take it to the max, to the extreme. There are no rules. As an agent of chaos myself, I've always had a little bit of a soft spot in my heart for extreme rules. Well, there's no question that extreme rules is in a category all by itself. But some people look forward to Halloween, some look forward to New Year's Eve. Me, personally, I look forward to every extreme rules match on. And he goes for the pin! And shoulders up before he counts. Able to get quickly the cover. Kick out at one. He's not even close to being done yet. The stomp in every single part of his body. He leaves the ring and there's no countouts in this one. Let's take a trick, Cole, shall we? Oh! For the Florida Keys. And he clearly knows that as long as he has the kendo stick, he has the power here. The sleeper hold is cinched in. Time to go night night. Sleeper hold is applied. Sleeper hole is cinched in. Oh my goodness! Not for long. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Double chicken wing, tire suplex. And Rude looked a little less than glorious after that move. And he's ready to throw out all decorum in this one. Ooh, targeting the back of the neck. Just mocking his opponent with that kendo stick now. Whack! This is turning into Swanson Street. Escape just in time. DDT! Swinging neckbreaker! Textbook. Setting it up on the ring apron. And I can tell you that's a dangerous spot right there, Cole. <laughs> with a punch. And a very bad spot here. This is all about using that ladder as a weapon, and I think I like it. Face first into the ladder. A put down face first. Attack right to the sternum. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Bad news near that ladder. Oh, boy. Turning the tables. Planning on what to do next. Oh, an nasty shot to the throat. Oh, God. Better check your teeth after that. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. He deflects it right back. And Rude reverses. What now? Now he's been put on the defensive. Mankind has flight in mind. From the top, top oh. down. And this has got to be it. And a strong kick out in one. There is no quit in this man tonight. And finds a counter. Kick to the body. Double under hook into a DDT. it more. He knows how to avoid contact. He gets back into the ring. Oh, shoulder breaker. That is gonna hurt. Hit butt to the back of the neck. He's showing them what superiority really looks like. Bullseye. Target in the arm now. He's getting a little battered now. I can already feel the sting with the kendo stick. Oh, man, I can't do The face of Robert has taken up about all it can take. Submission locked in tight. <laughs> and that'll break things up. Takedown. Rolls through. Oh, man. 
That was creative. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Back into the ring. Luthez press. Raining down right hands. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. Here he goes for the win. And he closes it out. Oh, what a save. Corey, that should have been three. I couldn't agree more. That'll turn your lights out. Wow, what a strike to the back. Wrenching hammerlock. Hoisted up and side slam. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. Go red suplex. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. This has just been an absolute massacre. If we know anything from Mankind's history in WWE, it's that he always is one move away from returning to the attack. Compromised position here. Oh, no, 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 no. A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. And he is daring his opponent to face him with the steel chair. Rude able to evade. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. Oh, man, what a boot. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. You have to. And here we go. Left in. It's left in. like that, he's out of the hold. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. He's got a sledgehammer, and you better believe his opponent's name is Arthur Oakley. Just one run after the other can't be stopped. There is nothing but malintent behind each of these attacks. We've got to acknowledge these fans, a packed arena, and we're hearing every single voice. It is loud, and it is mad in here. Looks like Mankind is taking the upper hand. Yeah, Mankind is really remaining the aggressor here. He'll take things into the ring. He's taking this to the floor now. Run! He's got a candle stick! Oh, man, a back break. Gross. How dirty is that? Topped off with a nice elbow. Oh, my goodness! He's making his intentions known to everyone in the arena. This could be it! Cover! And the winners celebrating together. Great chemistry tonight. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys.